Hello, welcome back to the Banner Saga. With the village still a day away, you're eating on the march of our approaches. We had words earlier, says Gris. Recall him claiming that he didn't care for your command. You were right in what you did. Let me join your guard and fight at your side. Pride hangs on his posture and sincerity in his eyes. You've got one shot. You tell him to report to Mogur. I don't sit in the back lines. Make a mistake and you'll get your head caved in. Nobody will sleep over it. He nods and goes to speak with Mogur. You're close enough to hear dredge rattling through the buildings below. Pull them out of the houses, Mogur suggests. Slug can just can't resist an ambush. We'll have better luck in the open field. Mm. Little scared. Wait. Okay, give me a second. I need to check what the hell. What the hell that means? Okay. So you want to stay close to the. Okay. Yeah. You heard him, says Mulgur to the rest of the caravan. We're going around. It takes the better part of the day, but you manage to have withdrawing attention to yourself. Well, if it works, we'll have 68 days of supplies. Hear a shout echo on the wind, a standard Val greeting. A caravan of Val are heading your direction, probably a few hundred in total, you meet them halfway. You must be with Vognir. Was. Vognir didn't make it. You serious? It's getting grim out here, but didn't expect that. You're flying the shield banner. What happened? Isn't Ulfart in charge there? I'm fuzzled. Ulfart's still in shield. In case he needs to be. He sent me to meet Vognir. Well, you. We've seen nothing happen in shield. Yet. What do you mean? No dredge. They never came for shield. They're all pouring out of Ridgehorn. We only just found out about it. One group went that way. We came here. Ridgehorn? The fort on the bay? That place has been abandoned for hundreds of years. Yeah, maybe that's why they're there. By all accounts, it looks like another damned invasion. Luden forces sway into the conversation. Wait a godless minute, what did you do? careful now. You be careful, what did you start? You think men don't remember history? The long banner hangs in our barang. The second great war nearly screwed us all. What did you do this time? Who the fan is this? Uh, take him and go to Grofheim. We'll meet you later. Are you insane? He just said an army of dredge are pouring out of that fort. Go on to Grofheim then, Prince. Having your blood in my hands would be worse than doing nothing. This shot slowed him up for a moment. You can see the battle raging in his head. He looks desperate for safety. But he didn't expect to feel like a coward. He expected you to come along, he glances at his men. We've already this far. If this is the forest doing, I'll know of it and so will my father. Besides, you need my help and my fighters. If I go, so do Ursa and Bercy. Luden's unexpected flip-flop catches you like a swift kick to the shines. Morgur can't contain a chuckle. <laughs> the prince has courage. Do whatever you like, Luden. Paint me the villain Haken. What do I care? I'm sick of you being the only one who does as he pleases in this alliance. These are Varl lands. We are facing an army of dredge. How much experience do you have in these matters? True. Medkin has never provoked them into a war. You're going for a third. Is taunting the dredge into genocide a game of for your kind? You curse and threaten pandemonium. The prince has chosen to be no responsibility of yours. If Rudan stays, so do Fasold's warriors. They join the caravan. Well, that's a lot of warriors and we still have 49 days of supplies, so... We may need to come soon, but I think we see an adult monument. 
The hike approaching the godstone is more there. You recall how most godstones were built on hills overlooking other godstones so that travelers could follow them and find their way between cities. It does nothing to ease your pains. Dredge! shouts Mork near the front of the caravan. Suddenly black rocks are whistling past your head. What the hell is this? he shout. Mogra shakes his head. A stone slams into the shield of an herbal vial, exploding in a flash of light and razor sharp fragments. Get behind the shield banger! shouts Mogra as you approach for a fight. There must be at least 800 of them, and there's. yeah. Mm, formations, still. As long as, you know, it's kinda. No, he's second level. Well, well, he's better right now. As long as, w if, if we are even in chances, then... Then I will go for the formations. And oh, she's uh, it's minus one strength. No, uh, 9, 9, 15, 10, I will do that. Well, we can always promote him. Let's see how it does. Well, it's 10, 13, so... It's 9, 12. Oh, it's better. And for an item, plus will, one will for each rest. I think he will be resting. At least add it! No. Oh no, it does does nothing actually. And let's put loot in here. Of course. Yay, let's go. There's no other way to do this, I'm afraid. Let's nearly kill him. Okay, that didn't hurt as much as I thought it would. Yeah, let's go for the raw damage right now. I'm glad I took the shield bears. They will be useful because they will stay alive more. You know, you don't have tempest, right? Malice? Every time you attack this hero next to me. I don't really mind that. Okay, let's finish this one. Okay, and Ludin can hurt this one. Okay, that's fine. He no, he didn't get in range. God damn it! Okay, he'll need to retaliate soon. Okay, the link got hurt, so doesn't matter. Okay, it's it's it starts. Really matter. Okay, hurt him first. Okay, Lily needs to get out or try and kill someone. He might be able to kill him. Yep. <laughs> He's so slow. Okay, you need to back away. Maybe they'll follow him. Nope. Ludi needs to go away as well. And oh, I keep... Yep, Ludi definitely needs to go away. Oh, it's my... Who's the next one? This one... Uh, can be quiet to him. Oh, 
Okay, he's still alive, so he'll go away. Okay, hit him. Oh! I actually didn't expect him to deal area. What do you have to bring the pain? Actually, let's go over here and bring destroy the shield. I yeah, just hit him. This one now goes over here. I'm just trying to make them unable to escape. <laughs> Oh, didn't quite work out, but uh, use. Uh, you know what? I don't quite trust that he won't be out of range. For now. Oh, unless he can kill. You rest. Destroy his shield. As long as they make the move, we are fine. Because they just keep walking around, those guys. Okay, he can kill him. You stay where you are. Oh, really? Okay, let it be. They're both dead. You don't move. He will kill this one, so... Otherwise, he will be blocked. You to the owners. Yep, they're pushed. Kill a few more, I think. Oh god, no, no, oh no. Uh, oh god, there's another one. Let's do it like this. He does a lot of damage. This guy is what I'm afraid of most. Let me get rid of this four armor. Ooh, that hurt. Okay, I might have been a little bit greedy. Four damage is fine. And he's dead. And by that I mean knocked down, wounded. Uh, yeah. Oh, oh, Lulin's down as well. Oh. It was next, okay. Uh, no, it doesn't work like that. Unfortunately. Okay, kill him. Oh, okay, he can... Yep, he will have to tank this guy. <laughs> they completely ignore him, which is amazing. Started. Damn it. He doesn't have Tempest. Uh, what? I 
actually think that's a better idea. Because... No, he didn't get hit. Okay, I can only add the two. Yeah, I figured. I figured this would happen. Now he's at eight. Uh. Okay, and I started noticing him. Start bringing him down. He's not so scary anymore. Can kill this guy. I'm glad he moved over here. Just kill him. <laughs> and let's get out of here. Distillberry. Okay. Yeah, four injured injured. Oh well. But 18 renown. Wow. I think we just got back what we paid. Two promotions. What in the depths are these? You wonder, looking at the unusual dread slingers. Nobody knows. Without warning, a deranged and half dead slag stumbles out of brush, throwing itself upon the ox attached to the treasure cart. Surprised, Val pulls weapon, pull weapons, but not before the whole cart slides off Slick Frog in a sheer drop, stopped suddenly by a low growl. The enormous metal wagon dangles precociously over cliff. From the end swings a confused ox, still tied to its reins. On top, the dredge hangs on tight, keeping the whole thing from plumbing over the side. Wait. Keeping the whole thing from plumbing over the side is gone with one hand white knuckle on the cart, the other wrapped around the free trunk. Um. Mm. Let's try helping him. You grab the cart and pull, you barely make any ground when the tree is holding on to tears from the ground, dragging you with terrifying force toward the edge. Uh, shout, shout for others! Too late, the others launch toward the cart, just as it topples over the side at the last moment you let go, but Gunnolf does not. No! <laughs> cries the old Val. The cart plummets and flips over rocks along the way, tossing it Tossing its content across the snow in a shower of gold and gore, the yokes and dredge are torn to shreds. Gunnel flies motionless, his limbs play at unnatural angles. Following the shock of Gunnel's death, you find yourself wondering why the dredge went after the yokes in the first place. Then you realize the bigger problem is the vast fortune now laying at the bottom of the cliff. Your call, Ubin. What choice do we have? He mutters. Gunnulf is dead, anyone can see that. Even if we could gather up the gold, we've got nothing to hold it. He sounds defeated, but resolved in moving on. You begrudgingly set off, leaving the grisly scene behind you. Wow! <laughs> The caravan stops, Godstone looming overhead, for a short rest. The warriors are glad for it, and the stone gives you an ancient sense of being watched over in a comforting way. Didn't help the bodies underneath it though, the earth at the base of the Godstone is scarred, like a struggle occurred. Merchants, no dredge. Encircling drang dangle a variety of goods, a barrel of mead, who knows how old, loose silver, a statue made of soapstone, offerings to the dead god. Leave the offerings but check for the merchant's brother. In the midst of the pile of bodies, a glitter catches your eye. You fish a gold necklace out from a jerkin to find five golden rings. Strike on it. The merchant's brother. Guess he didn't make it. Let's take it with intent to return it. You toss the necklace to Morgur and tell him to hang on to it. If anyone can be trusted, it's him. 
don't know what made them think the Godstone be safe. Oh crap, we're completely exposed up here. If we're going to rest, I think we ought to do it a little further away. But let's examine first. Dengur was always one of the favorite amongst men, god of good fortune. They believed he brought luck, wealth, or whatever else you wish you had. But couldn't get on your own. The word fortune has a lot of meaning. Eventually, you move on. That was actually very sad in a very short time. It's a bit overbear overbearing. Oh well. Well, I guess they don't need to rest. In the distance you see smoke rising from the trees, which aren't from for known for setting fires, but it does get their attention. We'd use fires like that to lead them along in the Great Wars. Yeah, but they wised up to that after a while. Or it could be someone trying to get our attention. The other group from Schlitt were sent this way. No matter how you look at it, investigating will cost time. Send some Val to take a look. Mogur send a few warriors to look. You say they disappear over the hill and you keep a steady pace while you wait for them to return then don't they don't reappear well past the time it should have taken go yourself you take mogur and a dozen warriors with you you shuffle past dozen of dead slag and varl before the cleaning opens up hundreds of varl sit near the fire including those you sent to investigate well puffs up on my pipe hey gun he greets you you warriors said you wouldn't leave them. He explains they had come from Schlitt and were surrounded, then lit a fire when they spotted you. Sorry you had to miss the fight, he grins as his warriors joins your caravan. And we may need to camp soon. Mogur comes to you privately. I've seen some of the warriors disappearing, he says. At first Thought it was my imagination. Now I'm certain several have just gone missing. Mostly men, but some Varl too. Can't quite figure it. If it's abandoned, you can let it stand. Um, let's ask Ludin. Maybe he knows something. I ordered it, says Ludin when you confront him. I sent my men to bring back gold from the cart you left behind. If you have a problem with your warriors joining them, maybe you should keep them under control. Uh, explain? You left a pile of gold on the at the bottom of a hill, says Lulu. What are the chances it will still be there months from now? The only reason we aren't each carrying a shine is because you don't trust us. Uh, I don't really want any of those options. Uh, I, don't, I don't really care if it turns it over. I've already stopped, he says. We're too far now for anyone to catch up back up to the caravan. He smoked the minor is nearly unbearable. Okay. Your warriors demand a break. You hold the caravan with a sigh, but in all honesty you're starting to feel the altitude and weariness yourself. Moro grew leans on a fallen tree, fiddling with a crust of bread, getting colder, he says, staring into the distance. You can see a right horn just start to peek around the mountains. A flock of ravens float across a clear sky toward the fort. We should follow those birds. Why? Without another word, Mogur starts running toward the birds and tumbles over the cliff. Suddenly he's gliding through the air, flapping his arms for all they worth. He swoops toward Reichhorn before bursting into flames and pummeling into the tower, which crumbles like a log from a smoldering campfire. It was a dream, right? It had to be. You think you've lost your mind, then you wake up. You don't remember setting up camp or falling asleep in front of cracking logs. What is going on? You mutter. Mogur approaches you at the gunfire. Hakon, did you see? So, yeah, you both agree to keep it to yourself. Okay, let's rest. One, for two, for three. Okay, we're fine. Let's see, whoever needs can be uh Mogur can be promoted. That's nice. Sure, I'll give him one and one. Mm, oh, well, that's gives. 
just too well per rest. I don't need will. I need very well leveled up warriors. Oh, hey come. And at that we will stop with the promotions because it's getting well up 30 already. And since there's nothing else to do here, I think this is a good part to end this. So for now, thank you very much, stay alive and see you soon. Bye!